Hello. Hello. Makeup collaborations in my dirty beauty blender. A makeup brand and some other company collaborate and they make magic. I realized that that's one of my favorite things to buy is like collaboration makeup um, because I have so much of it. The five categories that I've seen that makeup companies will collaborate with are food and drink, video games or games, sports, or nostalgia in movies and TV, which kind of overlap for the most part. Some makeup companies love a good collab, like their bread and butter is collabs, but others not so much. It's mostly drugstore brands, so I think some high-end brands could take some notes from these. Drugstore brands. Oh, and I forgot to say like, while we're talking about this, I'm gonna be doing my makeup using my collaboration products. None of them have foundations, so I'm just gonna use, I mix these two. Fit Me by Maybelline. I love drugstore and high-end brands, but I usually, especially lately, have gone more toward the drugstore end of things. Like, if I'm walking into Ulta, I'm walking and turning the left, I'm turning the left, which I don't know if all Ulta's are like that, but mine is like drugstore stuff is on the left, high-end makeup is on the right. It's just like, there's more color, there's more, it's like fun, they're trying new things. Like I'll see something new like every time, but if you go to like the high-end side, it's like a lot of the same things, which I guess like it's tried and true products that you do want to still be around. But like sometimes you want just like a cute little Pixar blush. You just want a Mike Wazowski blush like we have there. So let's go through some makeup collaborations and get into it. All right, so let's start with food and drink. I would say that this is the second most common out of all of these. I'm trying to do a look I saw on Pinterest and it's a, it's a brave look for me to try. This one is a high-end brand actually. This is like the first collaboration from this brand that I've like seen, at least with something like this. Too Faced and Pop-Tart. It looks like a little Pop-Tart. I'm sure it's scented because Too Faced has been known to be scented. So I think that one's really cute and I think it matches with like the Too Faced aesthetic that they're going for. They've done like chocolate, they've done like peach, and I just think like frosted strawberry pop tart. Oh. They don't have concealer either. This is Fit Me Too. And then there's Morphe and Sour Patch Kids. Now some of these collaborations it can like just be a palette or it's like a whole collection. And I think my favorite thing from that collaboration is the watermelon, what's it called? Watermelon Slice? setting spray. I know that smells good. I can smell it through the, through the screen. Watermelon's my favorite scent out of anything. And if my face just smells like watermelon all the time, people are just gonna attract to me. If they're anything like me and I smelled someone's face and it smelled like watermelon, to their face, which may scare them a little bit, a tad bit. Then there's Morphe and Lucky Charms, another colorful, sweet thing. The pencils are really cute. It looks like a little Crayola pencil holder. I think probably one of the first collaborations that we saw as kids. Lip Smacker and Coke. That was good stuff. That was a little snack. That was a little snack for me if I'm being honest. Then the ones that looked like a Coca-Cola with the ice on it and then you took it out and it was like... There's also Elf and Chipotle. This one was like talk of the town. They had an eyeshadow palette, which I think the colors are actually really cute. Like I like, I really like the colors. The makeup sponge that looks like an avocado. That's where they did something. I love how creative they get with some of these. So it's two little ones, one's the little seed and the other one's the avocado. If it was scented, I would be like, absolutely not. Beef scented, eyeshadow. That's the only one on this list that's like savory and not sweet. So it's just like, it may leave a savory taste in your mouth, if you will. And then Elf did another collaboration with Duncan. I like that one a lot. And my favorite of those was the little keychain lip glosses. 
glazed for days. Since I don't need it super dark, I'm gonna do contour with uh, one of the Lizzie McGuire colors. And then Hip Dot. I had never heard of this brand before like looking up stuff for this. They love a good collab over at Hip Dot. So they did a Girl Scout. Like there are so many collabs over there. A side note, I started seeing Musician collaborations. I'm not sure if the brand is like in on all of these collaborations. I don't know exactly how that works. I don't know the legality of all this, but I'm like, this Evanescence that looks like a CD. There was also a Revolution and Def Leppard collab. That's the most random collab, but I love it. One of my favorite like musician collaborations or one of the smartest ones was the Olivia Rodrigo and Glossier. From what I understand, she had like some of her own products and then there'd be like a picture of her and they'd be like, get the look. And it would like be a list of the products that she used. I just think it was like really smart because I feel like the vintage diagram of Glossier users and Olivia Rodrigo listeners pretty much overlap. One of the most interesting phenomena to me, the video games and games collaborations. First we have Revolution and I, I call it Makeup Revolution. This is a British brand. I think it was like Zoella that I would watch and she would call it like Makeup Revolution. So there was a Revolution and Fortnite collab which is honestly everything it's honestly everything they had so much stuff they had a banana shaped makeup sponge i don't know anything about fortnite i've played about seven times in my entire life but the total of that was probably seven minutes because i would die so quickly actually i had an era i forgot about this there was a time in my life where i would play on my phone a lot but i really honestly and truly don't think that counts they have nail polish and like the little faces on there. I've never seen those faces in Fortnite. I don't know. Llama. I've seen the llama. Most of these are video games, but this one was like a literal game. Was the Hip Dot and Monopoly collab. And it looks like a Monopoly board. Is that not just absolutely show stopping? I thought this one was so cute. Um, ColourPop. An Animal Crossing, like very pastel. It just like matches the vibe of the game really well. Oh, this one. Oh. And then there was NYX and Tetris. I had never seen this before because I feel like I would have purchased this or I would have wanted to purchase this. It has 80 pans. And then on the left, it shows like different looks that you can do and like different combinations. Probably the most controversial, Mac and The Sims. There was an eyeshadow palette that they reused that was already a Mac eyeshadow palette, but they just like put The Sims logo on it. And I guess people thought they were getting like a special Sims eyeshadow palette. And then they made it to where you could put MAC makeup, certain MAC products on your Sims character. So I guess those were both like part of the collab, like yeah, they were in both worlds at the same time. I'm gonna put blush on actually. There's so many blushes to choose from. So there's of course the Mike Wazowski. Then I have some Peanuts and Wet n Wild Christmas. The Barbie, Lizzie McGuire, a couple of Lizzie McGuire. I think I'm gonna try some of the Peanuts and Wet n Wild one. I just had to include this because I thought this was so interesting. The ColourPop and NBA collaboration. At first I was like, but when I really thought about it, I think this is genius. I think it's genius. And they're reselling for a lot of money too. They have the NBA teams. They have the Chicago Bulls, the um, Celtics, the Mavericks, Lakers, Miami Heat, and the Warriors. And they're all like the colors of the teams. And I think it's actually really smart because I was thinking, I was like, me, I'm more of a baseball fan than basketball. If they had like baseball teams, makeup palettes, and then you could go to a game and wear the mega palette. That's cute. A game day look. And I wonder if the NBA wives have these palettes. So we have our trolls highlight. Peanuts. I think I'm actually going to dip back into this. Peanuts. 
and the most common nostalgia or movies and TV. On the nostalgia side of things is the Crayola and Lip Smackers, or is it Lip Smacker? Just Smacker collaboration. Now this, I was like, okay, is this nostalgic or is, it, is this just like for literal kids? Cause I was like, okay, Lip Smacker, I feel like adults can also buy lip smacker maybe that's just like actually for kids but it's so cute and i feel like it's nostalgic like they're shaped like little crayons and then lip smacker also has a comic princess collab which is you know you never really see comic princesses oh good morning ulta also had a couple collections like the ulta brand they had a pixar collab which i have quite a few things from that what i love about the this stuff is that it's like adult version of like claire's makeup kind of like a little bit toned down it's not like super in your face and even if it was in your face i would be right there in the seat ready to put this makeup on. They even had candles, which I didn't know. And then they also had a Disney Parks collab and like the makeup palettes were shaped like the Disney Parks. ColourPop, there's a lot happening over at ColourPop. They're just collabing here and there. They're picking up those collabs. Every, every which way they're turning, they're picking up a collab. If you type in like a thing that you enjoy, then there's probably a ColourPop collab for it. I'm gonna use this for the base color. We have it Naruto. Is that how you say it? Naruto? The only reason I have heard of that is boys in my class were just obsessed with Naruto. I love the look of it. Even though I don't really know Naruto, like I would still probably purchase, especially those little eyeshadows. Very like cosmic. Star Wars. Look at that. Just look at that picture. Like, what more could you ever want in your life? Even though I'm not like the biggest fan of Star Wars and I don't like know all the lore, I'd still get that, 100%. And then, this one got me. High School Musical. This was pretty recent. And the names of the colors, creme brulee, big game. Was that a cell phone? That's like a deep cut, I feel like. Like, where'd they get that name from? It's like a brown shade and they're like, was that a cell phone? I get it though. It's like you, if you know, you know type thing. Shoot baskets. Okay. <laughs> like, student body. Like the gold is student body. But Sharpay being the glittery pink is just everything. We're going to go in with these two green colors. I'm trying something here. We are attempting something. This is just going to go like on the lid right here. So I love the High School Musical. And then of course Colourpop had Lizzie McGuire too. I wish I had gotten the High School Musical one, but there was like a bit of drama with the Lizzie McGuire one. Like an actress that had, I'm assuming, been sent the palette or they bought it. I'm not sure if they had been sent it or not. They tagged Hilary Duff because of course Hilary Duff got sent the Lizzie McGuire makeup. She was not on that PR list. She was rightfully upset. She was rightfully like, hey, I want some of this. I bet they did send her some after that, or they attempted to, because that was like worldwide news coverage. And then they had Winnie the Pooh, and the little pans were shaped like honeycomb. <laughs> but my favorite thing about this collab, look at this lip scrub and mask duo. They look like little honey pots. And they have the little honey thing that you can dip in there. <laughs> that is my favorite out of anything we've seen so far. That I've seen actually with my own two eyes ever. I love something that's not something that looks like something else. And then lastly with ColourPop, there was the Malibu Barbie collection. Not just Barbie, but Malibu Barbie collection. The makeup people love Barbie because there was also the Pure Barbie collab. I just think Barbie and makeup just go hand in hand. Wet n Wild, they also enjoy a nice collab. Wet n Wild is just a great name for makeup in the first place, so they've already got me sold there. Wet n Wild did a collaboration with SpongeBob SquarePants. This one had so many cute things in it. I think one of my favorites was the one that looked like a Krabby Patty and you could take it apart. Like you'd have the lettuce, the patty, and then the bun, and you could use it as a makeup brush cleaner. The Saved by the Bell collection, I feel like 
the same girlies that would buy the High School Musical would maybe pull up on the Saved by the Bell collection. Now we need some like pink. And then there was the Wet n Wild Peanuts collaboration, but it was like Christmas themed. And I have pretty much all of that too. So adorable. If you know, you know I love peanuts anything peanut my favorite thing from the peanuts was probably the the little snoopy house and you can take the top off and you can hold your uh beauty blender in there it's like a little beauty blender holder just for fun but i just have it set up in my bathroom just like that just like a little house the little beauty blenders they're too cute to use that's the thing with a lot of this makeup is like it's so cute that i just want to like keep it the way it is and just not touch it because it's so cute but at the same time I'm like I want to use this but I don't want to like mess it up because I'm like this deserves to be in a museum absolutely like this will be in a museum one day if I just keep it in pristine condition but some of it I actually do use like some of it daily I'm using it and then Wet n Wild had a Sesame Street collab I have a couple things from that actually a couple like sticks from those cookie monsters look how much stuff they had with that collab there was way too much for me to choose from to find my favorite thing the little headband that looks like elmo i think including a headband in your makeup collection very smart the oscar the grouch makeup sponge in the trash can it can't get any better than that i'm gonna use pink and i'm gonna go above this and go pretty much to the eyebrows and then there was the Care Bears collaboration and the eyelashes on their face it's like the main I know they didn't mean for it to look like that but it does it just adds a little bit of fun to your makeup routine okay so Revolution which is the British makeup company they know what they're doing they absolutely know what they're doing they had a Shrek collab and this one shook the actual axis of the earth the ogre headband the eyeshadow palette being shaped like shrek's head yeah the clay face mask aka mud they thought it through also with the dr seuss collab the different little eyeshadow palettes can be put into a box that makes them look like a box set of dr seuss books oh she put like way less than me she put way less pink <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna add some like little fake freckles. And then there was the Revolution Finding Nemo collaboration. The P. Sherman 42 All of UA Sydney eyeshadow palette shaped like the goggles. They're thinking it through. They're giving it thought. They're really sitting on it. The Elf collaboration, wow. Which included bubble bath that looked like maple syrup and the snowballs that were bath fizzers. The Friends collaboration. I loved the face sprays. Like with the Polaroid and just the look of them is really like Friends to me. There's so much like Friends stuff out there. But I think they did something different with those. I think they purposefully make eyeliner sharpeners worse than regular sharpeners. And purposefully make them not work. And just so that you were sure that this company's British, they did a Love Island collab. And it's so Love Island. I've never watched an episode of Love Island in my life. Not one second of it. But I know this is very Love Island. They have whipped tanning mousse. Everything's like bronzed. They had the Clueless collaboration with nails that say as if on them. The makeup bag perfection but i think my favorite thing out of all of those were the pencils and they had like the fluffy top on them so i could just imagine like doing your makeup and it has that like fluffy end on it but it's such a such an integral part of the movie that it had to be done okay i kind of like them they look so fake okay <laughs> Um, okay, I'm gonna do a lip scrub and take a break from this makeup look and come back to it. Or come back to this situation. Kylie, 
Ooh, this is the bubble gum. So as we know, Kylie came onto the makeup scene. Kylie Jenner. She was doing her own thing for a while, but then she was like, I want to get in on this collaboration hype. She did a collaboration with The Grinch, Batman. Never thought I'd say those words. And my personal favorite, The Wizard of Oz. I thought the photo shoot for The Wizard of Oz collaboration was actually beautiful. And she had the lip gloss that was green and then turned pink. Perfect for that. You know what? Now that I think about it, lip scrubs are the adult lip smackers. I'm assuming it's edible and I will eat this. I think I wanna do some mascara. I haven't used this because it's too cute. Um, this eyelash curler from the Peanuts Wet n Wild collab. I had never heard of this brand. Don't know anything about them. It's called Spectrum Collections and they did a Cinderella glass slipper makeup brush holder. I just absolutely had to include that in this because look at it. Cause look at it. So NYX has also done a couple of collaborations. Avatar, the movie. Okay, this eyelash curler is way better than the one I use. It looks like the eyes, the avatar, really cool. It's like one of those things that you can like put over your eyes, take a picture and be like, ooh, I'm an avatar. Then they did one with Barbie, which is recent. It was with the Barbie movie, I believe. These makeup brands are loving Barbie and I don't blame them. And my favorite thing from that, of course, the flip phone mirror. If any of these are giving Claire's, it's that in the best way. Those little Claire's flip phone that had the little lip glosses that had 0.0, .0 pigment in them, even though they were different colors. Okay, I'm I'm getting, the vision is coming together. I'm getting it now. A couple of high-end, I would call these two brands high-end. Like you can't just buy these at a drugstore, so I would call them high-end. Pat McGrath did a Star Wars collaboration. These Star Wars collaborations, I love them. Really beautiful stuff. Actually like art, like the R2D2 lip, lipstick with the little dot on it. Oh. And then Mac did a collaboration with Stranger Things. And then the last collab that I wanna talk about, Flower Beauty, which is Drew Barrymore's brand. She did collabs with movies that she's been in, which I didn't know about. And it's so cool. And she did like it where it looks like a DVD. She did the ET eyeshadow palette. Like she had the special features, rich color payoff crease free eight long wearing shades. She did another one for Charlie's Angels. I don't think she did this same thing, but she had a kind of a collection for Never Been Kissed. I think she was doing something there. She had something going on. Are we feeling this or no? That's okay if you're not, cause I don't know if I am either. So why are these makeup brands doing this? I think a big part of it is nostalgia and just wanting something different with makeup. Sometimes makeup can get boring if you're just doing the same thing over and over again. But having like cute packaging or like something that connects you to something that you like that really doesn't have anything to do with makeup. I think just adds like more fun to it and just like some magic. I think it's just a little sparkle to it. Or I'm sure they're just like trying to make money, but like still it's, I'd like to think that they're doing it out of the goodness of their heart. But to close this out, I wanna suggest some collaborations that I would like to see in the future. So I already said baseball, even just like general baseball themed, I think would be really cool. Um, and just like specific baseball teams. Maybe have like a baseball shaped makeup sponge and like makeup brushes that look like bats. You're welcome. I think there should be more sitcom collaborations. Like there was the Friends one. I think they should do like different sitcoms. I think a new girl collaboration would be cute. Like they could have something for each character. Um, like Seinfeld, I think people would like. Reba, like have a Reba. And all of the makeup brushes would be red. Kylie kind of did this with hers, but like more black and white things, like black and white shows, like the Twilight Zone or like the Wizard of Oz where all of the makeup was black and white, but then when you put it on, it was like different colors, like the eyeshadow even. I don't know if that, that's not possible. That's probably not possible. I'm not a scientist. I just, ha I'm just the ideas person here. I think there should be a Jane Austen novels collaboration, kind of similar to the Dr. Seuss one where it looks like books in a box, like a box set of the books, but it's for the different Jane Austen novels and you could have like 
different aesthetics for each one. And then I was gonna say Van Gogh, but then I looked it up and there was one, but I feel like that could be expanded on. And then this last one, I don't really know how to explain it, but a Guess Who, you know the game Guess Who? You can like play Guess Who with it. It would have the little, you know, things that fold up, but then under each little thing, it would have an eyeshadow. And then maybe like the person that was the last one that was the Guess Who, you would have to use that eyeshadow. Like it would be like a game, I don't know. So those are just a few ideas. This is on the internet copywritten. If I see this somewhere, you're going to jail. All right, thanks for watching, bye.